everybody wants to win. It's part of human nature. You want to win at sports, you want to win at life, you want to win at trading. But one of the things that's so counterintuitive and people don't under really focus on this is the fact that losing is part of this game, okay? Just like in sports, if you play baseball, 162 games, you don't expect to win every time. You're gonna have losses, you need to deal with them, and you need to learn how to move on. Everyone, lead training with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified as soon as the next video hits. So today we're gonna talk about something that nobody wants to talk about, losing, okay? Losing isn't fun, nobody wants to lose, nobody wants to talk about it. I think it's, it's funny because it seems so taboo, especially in the, uh, you know, the financial Twitter land, the social media land, talking about trading. You see all these big numbers, boom, pow, crushed it, you know. You get the Kramer sound effects and it's all about nailing the trade and crushing it. Nobody wants to talk about losing and that's one of the things that drives me nuts because you're, it, it's just integrally part of the game. If you come in with the mindset that you're gonna win 100% of the time, you're doomed, you're doomed as a trader because what that's gonna do is when that trade it goes against you, you're gonna get bullheaded and you're gonna turn that small loss, something that would, could easily be recovered from. Maybe it's a $100 loss. I mean, you could make that back easily later in the day or the next day. You get bullheaded, you don't wanna lose and you turn that into a $1,000 loss, $10,000 loss, and hey, if you got a big account, it could be a $100,000 loss. But that comes from not being willing to be wrong, not willing to be a loser, okay? Doesn't sound, I don't even like saying it. I don't even like saying being a loser. It's a, nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to put them themselves in that mindset. But it is part of the game. And have realistic expectations. I mean, I know Again, in the social media world, everything's perfect. Everybody wins every time. Everybody's got a jet and a Lambo, but that's not the way day trading works, particularly if you're new, okay? Some of the best day traders out there win 50, 60, 70% of the time. I mean, 70% is a high, extremely high win ratio. And if you come into this game as a newer or intermediate trader, and you think you're gonna have a higher win rate than some of the best of the best? Is that a realistic expectation? I mean, if you go to a major league ball game, baseball game, and a guy's hitting 400, which would probably put him in the Hall of Fame, he's getting a hit four out of five times. Do you think if you're some 18-year-old kid and you're going down to the batting cage, you think you're gonna beat him? You know, odds are you're gonna be nowhere close. So have realistic expectations as a new trader and know that losing is part of the game. And this is the biggest tip you'll hear it said over and over by me, other trading mentors, but the sooner you can be willing to be wrong, the closer you are to being successful, to being consistently profitable over time. Because you can never succeed in this game taking big losses. The math simply does not work. And you know, a, an analogy I always like to use, and maybe I've talked about it on other videos, I call it the rule of five, okay? The simple fact is, if you've got a small account and you lose $100 a day, if you lose 100 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you're down 400 bucks on the week. If you make 500 on Friday, you're now green on the week, okay? Nobody comes into day trading to make 100 bucks a week. That's not my point especially after you subtract commissions, you'll probably break even. But it's a, it's a mental exercise, it's a thought experiment. That's a 20% win rate. You've now won one out of five times and you're green on the week. So that is something I want you to write that down. Write that rule of five down. One, four $100 losses, one $500 win and you're green. And the next time you're staring at that loss and you're trying to justify and you're trying to you know, you keep canceling your exit order because you're like, oh, it's pulling back or oh, it's going up and you keep in and out, in and out. When your trade plan didn't denote that, remember that rule of five, stick to that small loss. So let me know below. Have you ever turned a manageable loss into a big one? I'm willing to bet if you haven't done it yet, you probably will. 
But let me know in the comment below, have you been staring at a stock and been like, you know, this isn't working. I said I would stop out here, started justifying and turn that small loser into a big loser. Be willing to lose, be willing to be wrong, and that will put you on the path to successful day trading. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos and be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks to Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.